What's going on everyone, Tech Me Out here. And in this video, I want to do something a little bit different. So as a tech reviewer, I get a lot of items in which you know I test out, I recommend, and I use over time. And they end up either you know getting used sparingly or given away, or they get used every day and actually start to become like one of my favorite gadgets of all time kind of thing. <laughs> so in this video, I kind of want to go back and take a look at some of those items and discuss with all of you the tech in which I still use. Now this doesn't mean that these are the only items that I use that I've recommended, but for this particular video, these are the items in which I want to show you. So if you want to see more of this type of video, definitely let me know down below in the comment section as well as by hitting that like button. So this very first item that I want to talk to you all about is actually something that I use every day and I recommend it to you all a couple of months ago. And it is a toothbrush. And I know some of you might be like, come on, check me out, really? A toothbrush, yes, a toothbrush. <laughs> I know I slept on it as well until I got it in-house and tested it out. So the toothbrush in which I'm referring to is from a company known as Quip. And they're actually the sponsor of today's video as well as I'm partnering with them again. But ultimately, I like this particular toothbrush for a couple of reasons. I love the design, it's simple, and it's affordable. So design-wise, especially when you stack this up against other electronic toothbrushes, to me, they just don't look like this. It has a very modern, you know, kind of minimalistic design that feels good in hand as it isn't too thick or uncomfortable to hold like, you know, most electric toothbrushes are. So when I tested this one out, I was so impressed with it that I honestly did not go back to the toothbrush I was using prior to it. So on top of the design being nice, the price tag is as well. And they actually deliver this to you as it's a subscription service. So the plastic toothbrush is $25 and the metal brush is 40. And then you got $5 heads that are going to be shipped to you every three months with free shipping for life. Now I know to probably a lot of us it's like a subscription service for toothbrushes really I could just go to the store and I said the same thing but honestly when you think about how often you probably don't <laughs> go to the store and replace that toothbrush head in the appropriate amount of time in which you should it's a service like this that eliminates you having to remember to do so or take that trip to get it done so I feel like it makes things a little bit more convenient and effortless now the other thing that I really liked about this particular toothbrush is the technology inside of it it's one mode and it's very simple you literally have one button that you use to turn it on and off and that so the Quip toothbrush is really designed in a way where it's going to help promote healthy techniques with its vibrating soft bristles. And it achieves this by giving you a two minute timer that features 30 second guide pulses. So what this looks like for you is that when you're brushing your teeth, you're actually going to feel it kind of like pulsate every 30 seconds until two minutes have elapsed and then it'll shut off. So this ensures that you're brushing your teeth for the appropriate amount of time because you might be surprised that you are not brushing them for the two minutes in which are needed. But it really just helps you stay on track. It even has a little traveling case and a little suction mount that you can put on the mirror. But if you're interested in getting one for yourself, I have a coupon code down below that's gonna save you a little bit of money for the next 48 hours. But nonetheless, you can check it out down below along with everything else in which I'm mentioning in this video. All right, so my next item is actually something I have on my wrist right now. And that is my Apple Watch band. I noticed in the comments of a lot of my videos, I get a lot of questions about this band. And I've actually done a video on this particular band that was featured amongst a few others. So I'm gonna throw that video down below for you so you can check it out. But yeah, I wear this band all the time. It's one of my favorites. Some people even think I spent more on it than I actually did, but I got it from Amazon and it was like, maybe 12 or $15 of that. But yeah, I haven't had any issues with it or anything like that. It's super comfortable, very stylish. It matches pretty much anything I have on. So for all of you that have been asking me about this watch band, yeah, Amazon, it's not the, you know, Apple one that's, you know, a couple of hundred. <laughs> no, it's a lot cheaper and still just as nice and durable. As it still kind of has that worn leather look, but the stitching and such is, you know, not coming apart, you know, nothing's broken on it or anything like that. And I wear this all the time. So yeah, I definitely recommend this for all of you to check out if you have an Apple Watch and looking to change your bands a little bit. And while we're on the topic of Apple Watches, something else that is a must have accessory is this portable Apple Watch charger. So I featured this in my best Apple Watch accessories video a few months ago and oh, 
I love this thing. When I travel, especially if I'm staying anywhere overnight, I take this. I don't take a stand or anything else, I take this. And this not only charges up my Apple Watch, but it also has a USB port on the back so that it can charge up another device as well. So it helps condense things in terms of all the little charging accessories that you need to get you up and going when you're away from home. But you have your little battery LED indicator on the front here to let you know its status. I can't remember the capacity of this right now, but I'm annotated somewhere in the video, but it has a very solid build. You have this zipper here so you can actually unzip it open it up and this is where your Apple Watch would sit, right within here. The only issue that I found with it is that I just have to make sure my watch is seated up here properly because there have been instances where I've you know, been moving too fast, I didn't properly seat it up here, took it off, popped it on my wrist and realized it did not charge. So make sure if you get this that you seat it up here properly and you hit this button so that it knows to go ahead and start utilizing that power to charge your watch but this is super handy. And it even comes with a little clip here so that you can attach it onto your bag or something. But I haven't had any issues in putting my watch in here and zipping it up and you know moving about with it so you don't have to be gentle. It's gonna stay properly you know, adhered to the magnet as long as you ensure that you did it right the first time. <laughs> but overall, a really solid build and a must have watch accessory. Now the next item I have that I wanna to talk to you all about is this Anchor Bluetooth speaker. This is another tech item in which I've actually gifted to a few of my family members. So it's so small, like it literally can fit in your hand and you would think that the sound on it was like kind of cheap, tinny, and low in volume, but it is the complete opposite of all of that. It gets super loud, the quality is amazing, and you can literally toss this anywhere in your bag and just be able to enjoy your music when you're out on the go. So if you're traveling, you don't feel like carrying a big bulky speaker with you, this is a really nice solution. And it does come with a little loop as well, which I have misplaced, but that helps in the transportation department. But in terms of controlling your media, that's done through the bottom here. So you press on it a certain way and it'll either advance tracks and things like that. But yeah, this is one of the tiniest Bluetooth speakers that I've ever seen, but it is definitely, definitely amazing. <laughs> now, while we're still talking about audio, another item that I use a lot, pretty much every day, all day, are my AirPods. And I'm like, I'm not even gonna lie to you, I'm ashamed to really show you a close up of this right now because it's been through a lot. I really need to get a silicone case or something and slap it up here because I've dropped these things. And aside from it getting a few scuffs from those drops, it's gotten some dye from my pants or whatever. But nonetheless, my AirPods are a must have when I go out. I love them because of the portability and the battery. So me personally, I don't really put both of my AirPods in unless you know I'm on a plane ride or something like that. But when I'm walking and I'm having a phone conversation or even if I'm walking and shopping in the grocery store, I'll have just like one AirPod in so I can hear my surroundings. And that's when these start to act a little finicky because it's like for it to initially pair with your phone, it seems as though it wants you to have both of them in your ear. And when I put both in and then take one out, the phone doesn't like it, needless to say. But aside from that one little hiccup, I love these things. So yeah, if you've been on the fence about copying yourself a pair of AirPods, I say go for it. Especially with the new iOS 11 update, you can even set certain actions per ear pod so you can make it so that when you double tap the left, it'll pull up Siri, but if you double tap the right, it'll advance the track or pause the track or something like that. Overall, I'm very satisfied with my purchase and I definitely recommend them. Just get a silicone case, because yeah, these did not do well with <laughs> light abuse. <laughs> But yeah, that's pretty much all I have for this particular video. I'm gonna link down below these items on which I showed you as well as the videos in which I originally showed you them in. But if you've seen my videos and there's an item in particular that you're curious, you know, how it's faring for me over time, if I still use it or don't use it, drop that item down below in which you wanna know about. And yeah, as always, thanks for taking the time out to let me tech you out. <laughs>